Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. With these words, the first Congress set forth the First Amendment to the Constitution that Americans would be able to believe as conscience dictated, say and write what they wanted, gather peacefully where they wanted, and make requests of the government. This amendment was part of the Bill of Rights amended to the Constitution because Americans wanted their rights clearly defined in writing. The ideas contained in the First Amendment were supported even before it was part of the Constitution. It is closely related to the Virginia Ordinance for Religious Freedom penned by Thomas Jefferson um, during the 1770s. The Federalist Papers confirmed that Americans had at least the freedom of the press. In number 84 specifically, Alexander Hamilton states, the liberty of the press shall be inviolably preserved. In a letter during his presidency then, Thomas Jefferson wrote a letter that confirmed a wall of separation between church and state existed, meaning that the national government could not establish a religion. According to the First Amendment Center, quote, without the First Amendment, religious minorities could be persecuted, the government might well establish a national religion, protesters could not be silenced, the press could not criticize government, and citizens could not mobilize for social change, end quote. In other words, the freedom nearly all Americans treasure might well be non-existent. This is why the First Amendment is so important to Americans. Our First Amendment rights are our most visible ones, and the ones we exercise daily as we speak and write without fear of reprisal. Of course, the First Amendment is now without complications. We can see these complications in a short exchange during the Broadway play Hamilton. Aaron Burr's character argues that the Constitution is full of contradictions, to which Alexander Hamilton's character argues so is independence. Liberty needs restraint so it does not lead to anarchy, but not all people can agree on the same views of what the First Amendment exactly covers. Some religions promote violence or oppression. Words, even truthful ones, can hurt, promote harmful ideas, or contain unpleasant connotations. Peaceful assemblies can turn violent as words and attitudes grow harsher. Petitions may cause the government to pass laws that cause trouble for a portion of the population. These problems have led to several court cases concerning the First Amendment. Cases such as Shank v. United States and Brandenburg v. Ohio have established a clear and present danger test, limiting speech if it brings about harmful results. Many, many cases throughout history, far too many to list in this short video, have proven that people have the right to read what they want, even if others do not agree with the content of the material. Another long series of cases has established that schools have the right to teach what they want here in America. The press's freedom to print material that did not clearly harm national security was confirmed in the New York Times Company versus United States. Other cases have established what constitutes speech or press being criminally indecent or obscene, and many other cases have established First Amendment rights in other areas as well. You can see all these court cases listed on the notable First Amendment court cases page of the American Library Association web website, which is also where I got all of this information at. The modern day brings new applications to the First Amendment. The internet increasingly makes the world smaller, allowing Americans more access to the few things that violate the First Amendment. In addition, the growth of Islam in America brings in the question of if Sharia law should be allowed in the United States, since several elements, would, elements of it would conflict with what the First Amendment allows. As some Americans seek tolerance for their lifestyle, they try to deny the rights of others to oppose the lifestyle, claiming power to do so in the name of the First Amendment, therefore trying to make the Constitution sometimes apply to them and to apply to no one opposed to them because why would you want someone to oppose their view, oppose your view in a society of free speech and press, you know? Ultimately, the First Amendment gives Americans some of the greatest freedoms they possess. It allows them to believe and say what they want, where and when they want to. Although establishing all of what is allowed by the First Amendment has presented and continues to present many challenges, it nonetheless stands as a great amendment granting, granting Americans their most common everyday freedoms.